Well, hey everybody, welcome back. And listen, we are at Alice Keck Park, downtown Santa Barbara. This property used to be a big hotel, like a four star wonderful hotel. It burned down many, many years ago. The owner didn't know what to do because it cost so much to replace. And back then, of course, we didn't have the insurance that we have today. And so um, went back and forth between the city of Santa Barbara himself and they didn't know what to do with it. And all of a sudden someone comes in and says, I'll buy it clear it out, plant a park, and I will have funds mm. to keep this park so beautiful and for the rest of whatever, for the rest of the time it's alive. And that, it's so beautiful. she was anonymous, her name was Alice Keck, and she remained anonymous for so many years. People were like, who did this? And it's just a beautiful park to yes. be in, lots of ducks. Max, we and, used to live over yeah, here. Yeah, we used to live pretty close to here. So we would come over here all the time and feed the ducks and the turtles. Lots of turtles here and yeah. ducks and all kinds of great things. Well, listen, this week we want to share our heart with you. Last year um, in September, usually I get the vision for the church around September for the following year. Mm -hmm. And last September in 2019, the Lord had spoken to me about some things and and we announced it in November, um, in, in our Vision Sunday in November, what we, what we were going for in 2020, which was this year. And one of the things he said was uh, incredible, and yet I took an, a different interpretation on it. I had no idea what was happening in the world at this we time. We had no idea. No. Now God knew. He knew. <laughs> he knew the future. I wrote it down, yeah. and even the, the, if you watch the Vision Sunday, it's a little different. It's my own interpretation on it, and we all miss God sometimes, so it's not a big thing, but I do have exactly what he said. He said, things are changing, and this is September 2019, and I was asking about 2020, because for yourself, for our believers here in Santa Barbara, our family here, our family throughout the world, things are changing. Things are going to go one way and then will suddenly shift and change and be going in the opposite direction. Mm. Hello. Again, <laughs> things are changing. Things that are going one way will suddenly change and will be going in the opposite direction. But I will make a, a way for you. I'll make, I'll make a way for you. It will be a year of the turnaround. He said he was going to turn things around. He said, David, I can turn things around in an instant. I will make a way for you. Well, I thought, boy, we're going to help so many people. God, the God of the turnaround. There's going to be a lot of hurting people out there. And uh, um, God's just going to come through for them. So I'm excited to see who God's going to touch. And I had one interpretation on it. And Well, what you're just saying is, is true. Yeah. It's just that we thought that... There'll be a reading lot. it things are going to things are changing when we when we heard that we thought oh yes they're changing and sudden change and a sudden shift we thought wow things are going to change amazingly we thought we took our interpretation like it's going to change like incredibly great yeah well instead he was trying to say things are changing yeah. a sudden shift yeah and things will be going one way and then it's going to go the opposite. And so now yeah. we see the virus and yeah, yeah. the pandemic. It yeah. did. Yeah. It, sh it changed dramatically. It yeah. was a sudden change and all yeah. of a sudden now we're going in this direction. Yeah. Yeah. Then the second part is what is a I will good make thing. a way for you. Yes. So it's like God. And it's a year of the turnaround. It's a year of the turnaround. So. And, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> God's turning things around. Yes. I said, God is turning things around. Things are turning. Um, it might take some time. And as believers, we don't let fear in our lives. We've been really teaching on the war on fear lately. Yes. And so we can't let that get in our lives. But it's so, I, I, I just, the determination of God to show us things to come. And yes. you, you teach a lot about the Holy Spirit. Yes. To show us things to come that he already knows about it. Like you said, nothing catches him by surprise. Well, and he was trying to prepare us that yeah. there's going to be a yeah. sudden change. Yeah. Yeah. We just didn't understand yeah. Yeah. the ramifications and all the crazy things that are happening this yeah. year in 2020. Yeah. We thought it was the God of the turnaround that miracle, you know, things were yeah. like suddenly changing, yeah. but they did suddenly change. Mm -hmm. And God is the God of the turnaround. Yeah. And yeah. so with the changes that have happened with yeah. the pandemic, yeah. God is going to turn it around. Yes. He is the yeah. God of the turnaround. And 2020, he's going to turn things around if we just have faith yeah, and trust him and believe him through everything that's going on. Yeah. 
And that's kind of what was in my heart and our heart to share with yeah. you is, listen, things are going to get better. Things are going to turn. We're yeah. going to believe him that things turn around. God shows us things ahead of time because he's determined to show us so that we won't be caught off guard, yeah. which we were. <laughs> I don't think anybody wasn't think caught, off guard, was. caught yeah. off guard, but also that it's going to be okay. Things are going to work out. And that is a refreshing, um, encouraging word for today. Yeah. I'll tell you, because there's so much doom and gloom out there. If you just watch mm -hmm. the news all the time, I'll tell you what, it's it, it's good to watch the news if you are if you have prayer projects and you want to pray for things and, and to be aware of things and to be safe. You have families, you want to be safe. But the biggest thing is following the Lord and following your heart and following the Holy Spirit. There's a lot of times yeah. like we, we, I'll go get something to eat, a takeout or something to eat for Max and Carol Joy and myself at dinner. And I'll be like, hey, let's go. Mm. No, I don't think I should go there. We need to follow those little instincts. And if anything, this is a great time to learn how to follow God's yeah. voice. It's a strong time to learn how to follow God's voice. And so for this whole message, God of the turnaround, He's so determined to bless us. We need to be just as determined to grab those blessings and follow Him as He's unveiling this thing. Yeah. Hey, let me just say this. Jesus, in His time, they had leprosy. Mm -hmm. Leprosy is way worse than anything happening with the virus right now. Mm -hmm. Leprosy was your, your, your face deteriorates, your body deteriorates, the skin comes off, your, your arms fall. Yeah off all of this thing and, yeah. and he would walk right into that we're the body of Christ we're walking right into it our mind has to be on it on healing and wherever our faith is at yeah. you know but listen God is the creator and he can heal you yeah. of anything and he says with long life he will satisfy yeah. you are yeah. you satisfied mm, that's good that's are good. you satisfied that's good yeah hey God is yeah. the God of the turnaround and yeah. the suddenly yeah and so he is changing things. And I was looking up the word determined, uh, determined because as determined as God is for us, we're determined to follow him. Mm -hmm. But determined is having made a firm, strong decision mm -hmm. and being resolved not to change it. You will not allow anyone or anything stop you from believing in Jesus, mm -hmm. believing in God, believing in his word, believing this things are going to turn around. Mm -hmm. we're, we're believing, and I just feel it just echoing through our hearts as God is going to turn things around. Yeah. We are going to, we have scientists, we can go on forever about this, but God is going to turn things around. Determined also means your decision is serious. Mm -hmm. Your decision is single-minded, fixed, settled earnest, yeah. unyielding, unwavering, and unflinching. We're determined to follow Jesus Christ in everything yeah. we do, and I'm really excited about that. Me too. Um, Jesus said this, um, just thinking, just thoughts that I have. If you're able to believe, he says, all things are possible to the believer. That's us. Yeah. That's us. We are born again. We're living in a world, but yeah. we're not of the world. You know, I think there are so many scriptures I can go off on today, but I think that is just a, just an encouraging word for you yeah. that things are going to turn around. God created this earth. He yeah. created the water and the seas and just air. He's He can turn things around for good. Yes. So. Just have faith. Just trust Him. Yeah. And, you know, it... It may take a while in the world, but we are not of the world. Yeah. We are in the world, but yeah. we're not of the world. Yeah. That's what the scriptures say. So yeah. we just need to trust in Him, have faith, mm -hmm. and just take one day at a time. Yeah. One day at a time. Well, God is a successful God. He, everything He does is successful. Yeah. You know, this, I like what you said, the devil did, the devil's the one who brought this, this virus into the earth, but God is going to make mm -hmm. a way. To overcome it. He built us to succeed in every area of our lives. I have yeah. a couple notes here. He's given us the tools that will put us on top every time. He's given us the Bible, His Word. Come on. Mm -hmm. His love, His faith, His hope, His presence with us 24 7. I cannot imagine not being a believer right now. And that I don't know what I would do. My faith, I didn't have faith in anything. But with our faith in God, we can pull out of this and we can be a gleaming light to those. Well, and he wanted to encourage us. He yeah, had a yeah, word for us yeah. that he is a suddenly God. Mm. He is the God of the turnaround. Yeah. And this sudden change that has happened in yeah, 2020, that's good. well, he can turn it around yeah. in your life. Yeah. In yeah. your life. 
I like that because, you know, as I was studying, if we're on the same page or what I was studying, I was studying Mark out. And Mark, the times, and most of them, the times Jesus healed people, the word straightway, they were healed. Immediately is another word. I love that. They were healed. It was used 27 times. Mark used that word 27 times about changes. When Jesus showed up on the scene, changes happened. So I hope this has been an encouragement today. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, again, he said to me, I can turn things around in an instant. Boy, this is really going for a circle. Yeah. I will make a way for you. And that's what we, you know, things are turning. Things are turning. And sometimes as you turn, I remember driving big rig trucks, big, big trucks. It takes a little bit of time to turn that thing around. And let's yeah. watch God as he turns this thing around. Keep safe use wisdom, believe God, yeah. amen, and follow the Holy Spirit every day of your life. Yes. I think that's, that's a great encouraging word. So let's pray for everybody. Father God, we just thank you so much that we keep our chin up during these mm -hmm. times, Father God, and thank trust God. that you will bring things and you will turn things around. Yes. You'll protect us from the evil one, Father God, in all areas of our life. You've given us these promises that we can stand on mm -hmm. and lean on, and thank God we can lean on you. Thank Father, thank you. Father. you going forward. We pray for everyone, ourselves, our family, our believers family watching online from all over the world here in Santa Barbara, the Central Coast, California, throughout the United States, and then surrounding all the whole world, Father. Thank you that we become stronger you, than we ever have before. This yes. time we can draw closer to you. This is a great time thank to draw you. and build a stronger relationship thank with you. you. Thank you that you're with us. Thank you for your presence. Thank you that you'll make a way and we trust you will make it on through. We give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Well, glory to God. Guys, we love you so much. Yes. Stay strong spiritually. Keep your, your faith surrounding your family and your friends and your workplaces. If you're believing for God, God to give you a new job or better job, just trust him for it and let, reach out, leave some comments yeah. on believersinternational.church. Reach out, just email us. We have a uh, section on there that says, pray for me. Yeah. Definitely will want to pray for you. Or you can leave your prayer requests right here on YouTube, on the yeah. comments. We have so much social media. Thank if you're you. watching this at, on Facebook, on Facebook or on Twitter or on yeah. Instagram, just shoot us a little message. We'd yeah. love to chat with Thank you. you. We would love Patreon to. Members. And Patreon, our Patreon yeah. crew members, our adventure crew, we, we pray for you, you every please. single day. Yeah, look so, on it and see if yeah. you would like to become yeah. a member with yeah. us. So guys, we love you so much. We'll join us again next week on Wednesday. We feel a shift too in all the teaching we're doing and it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be cool. You're gonna be following us around doing some things here in the future. We're praying it out. So thank you for yes. praying for us. We love you so much. We're gonna end everything we do is for the king for the king and we say for the kingdom of god on the count of three one two three for, for the, the kingdom. kingdom god bless you in jesus name